today we have a Microsoft IntelliMouse optical 1.18 USB and PS2 compatible. That is an excellent and short name. And as you can see, this is going to be cleaned. So we're going to take this thing apart and clean it and put it back together. To make it easier to take off the pads, we're going to heat them up a bit. And as we can see, there are no screws under the first ones, only the back ones. Not entirely sure if we have a screw here. We'll see that in a moment. In certain versions of this, you have two tabs here and here, and you have to open those to get the top half off. Doesn't happen with this one. As you can see, it is rather easy to damage both these clips and these ones. I'm going to have to glue these things together and putting this back. Not the most elegant design. But you don't technically need to take all of this apart to just wash it. 
if that's all you need to do or if you want to do something else for the electronics again you don't need to disassemble this entire thing There we go, all parts done. And now we just need to wash this with water and not lose it. And then we're going to have to rinse the others, glue this thing back together, and then we can reassemble the thing. So if we want to take the entire thing apart, uh, this may happen. Now all the pieces are dry. I already fixed this one with some super glue and some baking soda. Uh, mostly because this piece was really hard to keep in place, so really hard to get on camera. I will do the same part thing for this part, so you'll see the process of how to fix these. So here we have the part. So here we have the part. Goes on here like so. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add some super glue to the piece first. There we go. And then we are going to add our piece. So we have some baking soda ready to go. Now the piece is in the correct spot, and we're just going to spread some baking soda on it, which will lock it in place immediately. We'll then get rid of the excess baking soda. And we can now scratch off the excess. Still a bit wobbly, so we'll add some more glue. Now it just needs to dry for a bit, and then we can put this thing back together. Now that the thing has dried and it's securely attached, we can start putting this thing together again.
and there we go all cleaned up broken repaired again and ready to be used that's all for today thank you for watching and i'll see you next time